Children with diabetes are being put at risk simply because of the way they're treated in school. Now, that's according to the charity Diabetes UK, which says many schools simply don't know how to handle children with the condition. An estimated 2,000 children are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes every year in the UK. But the charity claims that 6,500 pupils in England aren't covered by school medication policies, which ensure they get insulin injections when needed. That means that children are missing out on school trips, they're not able to eat at the same time as other pupils, and sometimes they're taken out of lessons. Well, today, six-year-old Cole Barnard here from Fairham travelled to Parliament to ask MPs to improve support for pupils with diabetes. Our health correspondent David Fenton reports. <laughs> Cole Barnard likes school dinners. He didn't always. His previous school made him eat alone because he's diabetic and needed a meal at 12 o'clock, 15 minutes before the lunch hour began. You come home crying and say that he, he didn't want type 1 diabetes and he didn't want to be on a room on his own, he wanted to be the same as his friends. And to be honest, as a parent, it's, it's really heartbreaking to see your boy crying over something that can so easily be fixed. At the new school, things are different. His meals are all meticulously weighed and planned. Over the course of the weekend, uh, Cole's parents look at the menu and then provide us with information first thing on a Monday morning as to how much food he can have and how we can adjust his insulin. For Cole, it's all worked out. Other children aren't so lucky. Diabetes UK says 84% of schools don't have a proper medications policy or a separate place for children to inject insulin. And they want both schools and health authorities to work harder to improve that. Today, Cole and 200 other children took that message to MPs. Type 1 diabetes is a very serious condition. It can, in the long term, lead to complications such as heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, blindness. In fact, diabetes is the leading cause of blindness in the UK's working age population. This is why it's so important to give children the right start wherever they are, whether they're at home or at school. Children learn to cope with diabetes. The charity wants schools to do the same. David Fenton, BBC South Today.